to Beacon, New York. The train ride was about an hour and a half over here. This is a little weekend getaway, a little day trip that we're doing that I've been putting off for a while now because every time I think about going to the train, being on there for an hour and a half, that's three hours round trip. I'm just like, no, too lazy, but I really want to make sure that we take advantage of the remainder of summer and just come out here and enjoy some food, some nature, some peace and quiet away from the city. So now we're here in Beacon and we are literally starving. It's noon, so we're gonna go and get some food first before we start exploring the main street. Sandwiches. Got a chicken shawarma over pita, which looks very different than what I had imagined. The pita's at the very bottom. And then I also got a non-alcoholic lemon radler by this brand Athletic Brewing, which I usually buy their non-alcoholic beers at Trader Joe's. Our place was advertised as one of the best places for cheap eats in the Hudson Valley, but our sandwiches were like $14. So I don't think it necessarily qualifies for cheap eats. It's not expensive, but I don't know if it necessarily deserves an award. And my chicken shawarma sandwich was not that great. I think maybe I should have ordered something different. Um, it was just a little bit bland and I just, I don't feel like it was seasoned very well. But now we're gonna walk to the main street, which is where I read. Most people go in there in Beacon. There's a lot of little restaurants, shops, like small businesses, antique stores, um, coffee shops and stuff like that. So we're gonna go get some donuts. And then I haven't had my coffee today yet, so we're gonna go get some coffee. There's a dog cafe instead, but oh, do you see him in the window? So you make your own donut. Grab a clipboard and we're gonna choose our glaze and toppings. So you build your own glazed donut, you choose a glaze, a topping, and a drizzle. Dang, okay. It's a donut puzzle. This hippo. So much space. Gosh, look at how cute this is. It's like an old school like stove and oven. So much space. Wow, I would totally come here and like work or edit.
Look, it almost says mom. But also, how cute is that balcony up there? Pika would love it. It is so chill in this cute little town. Also, that coffee shop that we just went to was so lovely. I can't wait to bring Pika back because we've been seeing dogs everywhere. And the weather's too hot for him right now, but once it gets into fall or like winter, we are so bringing Pika here. He would just love it. There's just so much more room and it's like really charming. There's so many little shops around, um, some breweries. It's just a very like chill place. And because this area used to be like really industrial, there's still a lot of big brick buildings like these, like these. That just makes it all look so aesthetic. But this view is beautiful. We are getting ready actually to board the Metro North train back to the city. But I did want to mention a couple of things. So if you're ever coming here, um, make sure you check out the Dia Beacon. It's built in 2013 at the Contemporary Art Museum. If me and Andrew were not cheap asses, then we would go. But we just didn't feel like spending $20 a person to go to an art museum. But it's right by the train station. So once you get off, you can go there first. 
go into town and grab some lunch. There's nice breweries here too that we wanna go check out next time. I'm trying to do these more often just because sometimes when I'm not traveling and I kinda of have like the travel itch, it's nice to do a getaway like this where it doesn't break the bank and it's also close. And um, there's not too much commitment either because we did think about like staying overnight here in Beacon, but the prices for hotels and Airbnbs are pretty expensive because it is like a pretty touristy town at the end of the day. So we just didn't feel like splurging. But next time we do want to bring Pika when it's colder. We got 20 more minutes until the train leaves. So yeah, we're gonna walk back now.
walk through Madison Square Park and I love this park. I just don't come here often enough, but it reminds me of when we were tourists in New York City because we've been here before as tourists and now we live here and it's crazy knowing that we've been in New York City for two years now. And I still can't get over how amazing New York City is. Like I'm sitting in this park and I feel like I'm living my dream, in my dream city. On a negative note, there are a lot of rats here in this park at night. We've seen them while walking by, so be careful because these rats are nasty, especially in the summer. It is so gross out here. Anyways, it's been a lovely weekend going to Beacon and then spending today, Sunday, just honestly doing a bunch of things that I needed to do. I filmed the video. I meal prepped for both me and Andrew for the next three days. I cleaned a bit, Pika went out, and we're pretty exhausted. Now we're gonna go home and we're gonna watch a K-drama. We've been watching Vincenzo, which is not a new K-drama, but it's so good. And that's how we're gonna end our weekend, so. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.